From the deceptive senses argument, Descartes moves on to his dreaming argument, his dreaming skeptical argument. Now, his dreaming skeptical argument proceeds by pointing out a fact, and that is that oftentimes in your sleep, you see things, things appear so real to you, that's as if they really do exist, even though they don't. That is, it's just a dream. It is not reality. And he points out when a lot of these times I really don't have a way of distinguishing the experiences that I have when I'm asleep from those which I have when I'm awake. That is, I have some dreams that are that really, really, really look real. He goes, he says, I, I'm experiencing the visual sensation of being clothed, standing up. But yeah, but there are, but all of these things, all of these things are false. But the thoughts and ideas that I have in my dreams must have been caused by external objects. You know, at least he goes on, he starts on at least this simple comp uh, components. That is, uh, the ideas didn't come from nothing. They came from something. So even if I'm wrong that it's a table in front of me, uh, maybe I'm right about the shape, about the size, about something about you know the basic things that I'm looking at. That is, I don't, I didn't make up sort of the rectangles and the squares. So he says, when you're thinking about it from a scientific standpoint, you know, this cast doubt on physics, astronomy, and medicine, but arithmetic and geometry he thinks are safe. And we know later on he's going to come up with a further reason to try to cast some doubt on things that fall into the disciplines of arithmetic and geometry, things that we typically think we know a priori. However, he thinks he has given, that is, the fact that he can't distinguish dreaming, what he, what he thinks when he's dreaming from when he thinks that he's awake, it gives him reason to think, to be skeptical that anything really does exist because when you're dreaming what you're dreaming about never happened doesn't exist similarly maybe life is a complete dream is what he's saying i don't have any reason for you know for rejecting that hence i have reason to doubt all the things that i believe based on my senses but as he points out not arithmetic and geometry.